Hello, I'm drawing an angel and demon in graphite today, so please join and watch as I struggle with hands, wings, contrast, legs, and proportions. Although, thankfully, the proportions didn't get too out of control because I did end up using the grid technique, which I would really recommend. I feel like I've always kind of looked down on it. Like, oh, a real artist, you know, they wouldn't use the grid technique, you know, when you watch the, the frickin' masters do it, they just, they just go in one go, and uh, that's not realistic, because they've put thousands of hours into it, and I have not. So I just decided to use the grid, and even if they have put thousands of hours into it, you know, some of them still use the grid technique just to get everything right, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I really liked it now, and I'm gonna be doing it a lot more, because there's nothing worse than, like, getting to the end of something that you've put, like, you know, ten hours in, just to realize, oh, the head's a bit too big, the arm's a bit too wonky, it shouldn't bend at that angle, you know, the legs aren't aren't meant to be that kind of shape. This isn't the perspective that it would have. So I would really recommend it. And I got the inspiration from Gustav Wiglund's statue that I would really recommend you checking out his work. I'm going to have a link to his encyclopedia down below. I thought it was a really cool statue, and I kind of wanted to do like a my version of it, of like a demon and an angel, because it looked so, the man looked so pitiful in the woman's lap. And he's in the lap, <laughs> don't, don't be fooled by that, that head there, alright? Keep it PG, I put a dress on this lady, she's an angel. And I just thought it was very powerful on emotion that he can convey through, through that type of medium, which is impressive. And I photoshopped these wings onto her, using, uh, using my iPad, and it was really helpful because I could kind of stretch them out and shape them to her body. Um, I did not give the gentleman down there the same courtesy, <laughs> and it's kind of hard to see because the sketch is very light, but you can already kind of tell something's up with those legs. I thought it'd be really cool to give him like hooves, like a proper demon, you know, like I feel like most depictions of like demons or even like Satan, he's kind of got like hooves, like I think it's cloven feet. That that's supposed to be like the, the evil, like the goat people. So I thought it'd be really cool to give him that, although I've never drawn them before. And instead of doing something smart, like photoshopping them onto him, or even practice drawing them, I just like dive straight in and I regret that. I really shouldn't have done that. So if we could just not look at them ever again, let's just not speak of them. We're gonna pretend they don't exist down there. Another thing I kind of messed up with was the wings of him. Her wings are very, I think I put a lot of work into them, so I kind of, I really like the way they look. I've never done like dove wings like this on a person before, and I think they, they look really nice, but I put the effort in. I did not give him the same courtesy. I just kind of haphazardly sketched them out, and I didn't know if I should do bat wings or kind of like a black dove wing, like a raven wing. Um, I thought maybe it'd be better if they were kind of more contrasted, so I kind of wanted to give him like a bat wing, but it does not look like a bat wing at all. <laughs> they just look like chopped up poor little like, I don't know, napkins. They're just horrible. And it's not his fault. It's my fault. Should have fixed them. But I didn't I think you reach a certain point with drawings where you're like, I just need to get this done. I just need to move on with my life. And it's a shame because I really like the way she turned out. You know, you can see here I'm carefully laying in these feathers, which was also very difficult. I kept looking at references of wings, wings that were open, wings that were closed, drawings of wings that other people had done in graphite. You know, the simplified versions, the ones that had a lot of detail put into them. And I kind of had to decide how much time I was going to put into them because there are wings that are absolutely gorgeous, but I was not ready to put in the hours and hours of just fine detail that they put into theirs. I was just not gonna do that, so I kind of just like haphazardly did what I could. And I just looked at the references a lot, which which I think helped out massively. Um, and I really like them. And I think they're the best wings I've ever done. So hopefully I can come back at a later time and try to revisit these whole wings and refine my techniques, but I don't think they were that bad. Although I did learn, here's a little tip, the bigger the feather, the better it's gonna look. <laughs> Very early on I went too tiny with the feathers and it ended up looking more like scales than wings, like feathers. He looked like a little fish and she's not supposed to be a fish, she's supposed to be a beautiful angel. And these aren't supposed to be realistic feathers by any stretch of the imagination. I just wanted them to look very powerful so I, I made sure that the spine 
was as white as I could get it. I didn't want any graphite on there for the most part, except for those bottom ones that I kind of flipped because I thought it looked a bit cool. So I kept the spine very, very light and I think it looked really cool in the contrast of the dark like shadow where the other feathers kind of overlapped them on top, except at the very top. Those ones I was struggling with. I tried them like three different ways. I kept looking at the reference and how they were done and the issue with looking at a photo is it's just like how do I translate this through graphite like it's nearly impossible sometimes so then I started looking at what other artists did I started looking at graphite drawings of wings and some of them would do kind of very minimalistic just kind of make a shape block it in kind of make it look a bit puffy and I couldn't quite achieve that either I tried it I think it was very difficult some of these artists I'm like how did did you make a deal with the devil is that what you did sell your soul for this ability because it's amazing and unfortunately the devil does not want my soul so I tried to do what I could and they look a little bit scaly but I think they look good just don't look at the top part look look at the bottom parts and this wing took me a long time honestly I probably spent more time on the wings than I did like the rest of the drawing <laughs> I just kind of like flash forward through the rest of them and I kept also having this issue but I didn't realize it would be such an issue where I would try to shade an area. I would render it all out, I would get the tones that I like, the contrast, you know, the lines and whatever. And then I realized I didn't even erase the damn grid. So then I would have to go back and erase it and I'd have this sharp white line through it. And so I tried to keep up with that. I kept trying to remind myself to do that, but I could not. So you're gonna see me struggling with that throughout this, this drawing. I also put clothing on them in the statue. I think both of them are stark nude and I did not want to do that. I wanted it to look a little bit more PG and so I added just like a kind of a Roman Greek-esque dress and like clothing to them because I thought that that's what I think of when I uh, think of an angel. I think of that kind of like biblical style of clothing like she's not about to wear like Daisy Dukes and a tank top. So I put those on her and I tried to shade her the best I could. I really wanted to give them a harsh outline. Uh, I'm not a realistic kind of drawer. I, I like that that very harsh edge. I like the harsh lines. You know, don't get me wrong, I think it's the artist that can do that is beautiful, but I do just prefer that kind of stylized, almost comic book-esque look. And so here I'm doing the hair, and I struggled with the hair. At first, you can see I really wanted it dark, and I kept trying to do it dark, but it just wasn't looking how I wanted it to. And so I just, uh, I had to come back to it. And, and later on, I actually decided just to do lighter hair because I wanted her dress to be very light, and I wanted her skin to be very dark. And I wanted his clothing to be very dark and his skin to be light. And I think in the end, her lighter hair looked better on her. And I struggled with the braid a little bit. I didn't think I'd struggle with the hair as much because I've drawn hair before and I think it, it usually looks nice, but I don't know what it was about this. So I just tried to do a standard, like simple little braid, not to add too much detail. And I struggled with her face a bit. I could not get the proportions. I would have loved to render it out, but I kind of got this like very bold, almost like hawk-like, look in her eye and I did not want to touch it. I was scared if I messed with it, I would lose that kind of power, that power in her look. And I definitely wanted to keep it. So I just kind of shaded it darker and I left it at that. I know it's the coward's way out, but I kind of, I really like the way it looks. I'm not going to deny it. I love the way it looks. So I moved on to her dress and this is about the time where I think I moved on to him. And it <laughs> reminds me almost like The Sims. You ever play The Sims? and you will spend four hours making every clothing article on the woman just beautiful, the accessories, you'll put lipstick on her, this and that. And then when you get to the guy, you just do like the basic, just like t-shirt and jeans, you're like good enough, you don't even really change his hair or anything. That was this gentleman and this poor guy. I have no idea what possessed me to do the wings like this. At first I was gonna do a larger wing that was extended, his left wing back there, extended upwards and her holding onto it, almost as if she was like tearing off his wings and like de- like demifying him, like making him not a demon, turning him human. But then I thought it would cover up her other wing and I really liked her wing, so then I just decided to make his- like clip his wings. Maybe, I don't know, we got into a fight or something, he decided he don't want to be a demon no more. 
so he decided to get rid of them. And they just look awful. I'm not proud of them. They look horrible. I'm sorry. Sorry to him. Sorry to the audience. Sorry to me. Just not great. But what's done is done. And especially I'm very harsh at putting pressure on the pencil. So I knew I was never going to be able to erase these things to a nice, nice level. And then I would have to go back to the drawing board and I just wanted to move on. I'd rather try to redo the whole thing than just kind of remove this little portion and try it out again. And these legs are another thing that got me. That hoof looks rough. I tried to do the fur. In hindsight, I think the fur right there isn't that terrible. I really wanted to get more detail in there and I think I would overwork it too much. And I really like harsh shading and it just, it wasn't flowing very well. And so I just, I kept going back and forth and I wanted his, it's like I wanted his dress to be dark. I wanted his, the rock he's sitting on to be dark. And then in order for me to get the fur in there, it would also have to be dark. And I really didn't want that. So he, I kept looking at references, but I just couldn't make it work. And I also decided that he overall was just too dark. So I decided to turn his dress into a skirt. And I added this little like uh, belt that I, I guess would be kind of made of like rope or something. And I thought it'd be pretty cool. And I decided to add a little like dangly tassel bit there. And I didn't know if I should add like I don't know, a medallion at the end of the skull. I didn't want it to be too morbid, so I just added like a regular little tassel. I tried to shade it nicely so it looked shiny. And the thing that bothers me the most about his wings is that they just don't look functional. Like, hers look big enough that they could kind of carry her. Although I'm sure they'd actually have to be like much bigger in reality. But I think at least they look proportional to her body. And I did want his to look chopped up and ruined, but the, just like the position of that spike on the top of his right ring, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I should have looked at more references of wings and like how they're formed because you know there's bones and cartilage and stuff in them but his do not look like that at all. His are very two-dimensional. They look flat like nothing like wings and I think if you if someone's just taking a quick glance at them you, you'd kind of have to the guess that they were wings like that's how bad they look. Which is a shame because I really like her. Like honestly to the point where I'll probably do like another drawing of just just like her. Maybe color this time. But these legs were another thing. Like, honestly, I didn't really mind this little patch right here on the top of his right calf. But I didn't understand how to replicate that throughout his whole leg. And I got frustrated and I just rushed through it. Like, I just wanted to get done. And so I was like, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to try, like, cute little, like, curly furry sheep. And I was just like, eh, it's not working out. I want. And I was like, oh, maybe I'm trying to do in patches. But then it started to look like scales, and I was like, okay, I can't do that. And I was like, maybe just minimalism, maybe I'm going too crazy. I'll just add a few strokes here and there and went overboard. And I was just, I was like, ah, this is awful. And so then I was like, maybe just bigger patches. And then I feel like they looked like leaves. And so I was like, uh, you know what? <laughs> Screw this whole thing. I'm getting on with my life. I blocked it out and shaded it. And I said, I'm done here. <laughs> And I got to the wing and I was really excited to do the wing, you know, the first wing was pretty fun and um, i would learned from the first wing a lot so I was like, oh, maybe I can get it done faster, I can get it, you know, to look better, I can try like a little bit new technique to make it look cooler. And I think it looks better, I think it looks a lot cleaner, because especially compared to the first one right now, because you can see there's parchment paper under my wrist so that I didn't smudge it with my wrist. And the parchment paper kind of smudged it a bit. But not nearly as bad as my wrist would have, so I ruined it a little bit, but I did try to crisp it up a little bit more with the eraser afterwards, but the eraser just kept smudging it, and I was like, I don't want to have to redo this first thing. So I just kind of left it was as it was, and, and you'd think with all these feathers that I would have learned how to do it better, but I couldn't remember if I went like from top to bottom or bottom to top, and I was all over the place. And I don't think the angle of the wing, especially the left one, is correct. I feel like it should kind of be smaller and like around her a bit more. Right now, if you were to look at her from the backside, I think it would look like it was extended out too much. So I'm gonna, I needed to work on that, but what's done is done. And the second wing took me about a third of the time that the first one took me. And I thought that was awesome because I think it looks a lot better and it was a lot faster. Um, it was a lot funner too. I, I, I could really like make it look, uh, a lot brighter and darker in certain places, whereas the other one just looked very samesies. But I thought it was good enough. And I had to do the background that was what was left, and I thought it'd be cool if I kind of shaded around the outside of her, like making it really dark, and then going back in with an eraser 
and outlining her so she kind of has this halo effect and I'm sorry you can't really see it because the lighting's a bit too bright but and then I was like oh, I'll try to do the opposite with him so I'll shade around him really dark and then on you know further away from him I'll erase it so that it kind of has like a smoky effect but it kind of just looked like he's leaning up against a wall but anyway I like it and I hope you did too hope you enjoyed watching and thank you have a lovely day